Hello everybody and welcome to another Medieval Engineers live stream. Before we get started, well, I'm going to first roll the trailer. Okay then, there you have it guys. Fantastic trailer put together by Dushan, showing the new update. Hello, and I'm joined by Marek today, to start with. Um, Deep Flame will be coming on just a little bit, but Marek decided to stop by for this release. So, uh, I don't know Marek, what do you want to say about this uh, release to get us started here? Well, basically I'm happy how uh, the visual changes turned out. Uh, visual changes on the blocks, so I will say a little bit about that. Uh, no, look, so no more we will have this flat, you know, like low polygon looking walls and and blocks and everything. Uh, now they are all uh, modeled very detailed. So the rocks, the stones on stone walls, on the edges. Yeah, get on, a closer, Mark. Okay, on the on the on the floor where we are walking and all these things. Uh, it's, it just looks much better and uh, what was also good is that uh, it didn't mean that uh, yeah, or di it didn't lead to decreased performance so basically the game still around is about the same just now it looks uh, much better more detailed kind of like more three play so the uh, the, uh, the visual changes on the blocks that's one thing that I'm I like 
and of, of course Tim he will say much more details mm-hmm. and another thing that uh, I liked uh, is uh, the blueprints or how you how you can build with blueprints right in the game and this is something actually that uh, I also want uh, for space engineering engineering sometime in the future and uh, basically the idea is that uh, you know uh, there is no more this time with kind of like ugly blueprint menu and all these things uh, we wanted to have blueprint editing kind of like integral part of the game and actually making the building much easier much faster mm-hmm. so uh, you have something in your blueprint I- inventory you kind of put it there you see kind of like a ghost uh, semi-transparent version of this thing and then you just start like hammering it, hammering it and, mm-hmm. and finishing it and other people can help you and you only need to bring uh, kind of like components, you know. Yeah, to, the, the to parts to make it exactly. The parts to make it, and uh, in my opinion, this makes building anything much, much better because you don't need to be when you want to build a catapult somewhere in the middle of the battle. Uh, you don't need to uh, kind of like uh, when they destroy your catapult, you don't need to like build a catapult from scratch. Just put there the blueprint and kind of hammer it and finish it. So as you can see, this is something that also we want to have in uh, in space engineers. There is projector, but I think this kind of like blueprint building will be even better than uh, having just a projector. So these are the two things that I like most about this update. And there is much more details in the blog post on my blog. Which and is being linked in the chat yeah, there. So yeah. you can check that out. Uh, Gwen's linking it there. Yeah. So you can read in, in great detail about all the all the things that are changed. I'm going to be covering them uh, as well on the stream. So um, let's see. I was going to... And there is the question, when does the update go live? And I think it will be in any minute. Chuck, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, any minute. So again, what's one of these things, America, is with all the stone blocks is the uh, this kind of this parallax effect, right? Mm-hmm. On the stones, which is means it no longer looks like a flat texture. Mm-hmm. It's kind of this uh, trickery in a way to get it working, but it's, it's, it's quite a big difference. Yeah. One disadvantage actually is that it makes the work for the modders a little bit harder because if they have to match, you know, this level of quality, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's not as easy as it was before when it was just about slapping some polygons with some texture. So that's kind of like the downside. But on the other side, you know, it looks much more realistic, immersive, better. So I think it's this was a good move and something that I was waiting for for quite some time. Check one thing a second. Okay, let's see here, let's just, okay, fine. And I think nearly all the blocks have been redone. Uh, just checking here, there's something with the settings, let me just see, let me try it. Uh, okay, let me just go down to medium and then, sometimes when I'm streaming this, OBS is dropping frames, so I'm just gonna make sure we have a smooth thing and everything looks okay still. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So that's looking fine. Let's close this as well. And yeah, I was saying, so every block that has stone has basically been redone, but then also you see like these chests have been redone. Basically all the blocks. I think there are a few that uh, we didn't touch, but uh, it's just some minor details. Like all the blocks were changed I and also we, all the other objects. Just some of the newer ones, some of the mechanical blocks, because they were done recently, they weren't, uh, redone, I believe, mm-hmm. but m- basically all of them, I think. Yeah, and I almost forgot. Actually, We're touched up. Also, the trees. Ah, uh, yes. The trees are, are also remade, and uh, we used the trees from Space Engineers, and uh, also kind of like inter- I- interacting with the trees is different. But you can show this. Oh yeah, we can show this in, we'll, in a bit, I guess. Mm-hmm. Would you want to show it now? Or uh, cho- cho- the chopping you up. You can later. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah, the the way you, you cut up trees is quite. It's, it's uh, yeah, a largely uh, greatly improved actually. Much more satisfying now, and um, as well as all the sounds as well. That's, that's something which is because there wasn't many sounds of an eel before. Where now, when you actually at a construction site, you actually hear like the chopping and you hear knocking. So it sounds a lot more. Um, yeah, it sounds a lot more immersive now. Actually, when you see a lot of people building or chopping up stuff. So um, in blueprint, so I'll show you quickly also the blueprint building in survival here. And yes, uh, blueprint building uses area inventory. It uses your your inventory first, and then area blue area inventory after that. So it will take things from your personal. So the new block, you see also here, we've got all these changed icons. Um, 
to kind of unify everything again because some of them came at different times. I get the, we're looking for blueprint control block. Also while I'm here, I'll quickly show off we have a new inventory as well. I'm not sure if you want to say anything about this, Marek. Just that, trying to make it more intuitive, right? And more mm -hmm. user friendly. Yeah. Basically, uh, the GUI uh, was also changed in many, many areas to make it kind of to, to show less information or less useless information, mm -hmm. you know, to make it more user intuitive, more ergonomic. If you come over to this, this was originally the research block and it was always intended to be the blueprint block. But um, at the time, that wasn't quite right, so we use it as a research block, but that's done a little differently now. So if we hit F on it, we open up, and we can see the in-game blueprint selection. Um, now, something that's changed since the last update is the icons a little here. So we have default, we have official blueprints, we have subscribed only, favorite only, all workshop blueprints, local only, and published only. And uh, something that's really cool about this is you can actually browse every single blueprint on the workshop that is compatible in the game from within game. So you no longer have to use the Steam, a Steam overlay or alt tab out to Steam. You can search for whatever you want within the game, which is um, something that's really, really cool, I think. And there's also some tags that people can apply. Uh, so if you want to kind of narrow down some things. So it's a, it's, it's a cool little feature of the the blueprint uh, selection screen here. Because um, some of these, for example, I'm not even subscribed to, right? So it's a bit better chance that something you want. So if you want like, I don't know, let's say Watchtower, let's see. Yeah. Depends how, how long it takes to load. It, actually, it was something that Chuck was mentioning. I'm not sure if it's loaded at all, because you can see at the bottom here, the pages, right? Page 57, 58, 59, 61. So it's streaming in all that data right now. Um, and it actually won't, might not show that many because of the compatibility, right? Like there's more than that for sure. So that could be one thing with this new update. So if I go to the official blueprints, we can just select one here. Let's like say the um, like official Onager, the good one. And we click on this and we can see the requirements, all the uh, things we need to build it, which of course, if you're doing a siege, you can prepare these beforehand. So, okay, right, let's take the carts and let's load them up with the, all these resources um, to the place you want to siege, right? Um, we can see that it, description, name, and all this, this actually comes from the uh, Steam Workshop. And also there's a little tag, and this is a new icon, I believe, since last week's test. So once we hit pl place blueprint, we're in, well, we are in creator now, but in, in survival, you'd see this where you get suddenly the blueprint uh, ghost. And then once we have a point, we can click at it, and there it is, place in the world. And all we have to do is get ourselves a mallet. And we won't be able to start hitting yet because we actually do need some, uh, so that was a bad place to put it actually, because it was uh, not on the road. But it's actually okay because you don't have to hit it in certain positions. You can literally pick a spot and then just go away and, and hit it away at it. But as you'll see, we're missing the part. Oh no, actually we're not, this is, it's, it's, it's created. So you can see how it's becoming more and more opaque as we hit it here. And there's an order just behind Marek's head, which actually shows uh, the number of blocks that are missing and also uh, what is kind of still left, right? So we can just hit it, hit it, two blocks missing and boom, it's in. Yeah, this is great. And what's so great about it is the fact that it comes with all the strings attached, right? All the ropes attached. So you, literally all you have to do is load it up. Let me just quickly grab out from here. I oh, know I might have to make some. Uh, projectile, I'll take the small one. So if I just get some of these in my inventory, then hit F and then boom, fired. And that is how quick um, it can be. So as soon as you have the, um, the resources available, you can just hammer away and get these blueprints built up really quickly. And it's, as I was saying in the test stream last week, it was, it's the kind of the final, it's one of the final uh, connections between creative and survival mode, being able to build mm -hmm. these more complex things without having to try and do them from scratch because they can be really hard to build and like especially trebuchets and trying to get them all uh, wired up, you, you know what I mean? Uh, so now it just places in already. And I actually showed a test last week, let's see if it works. 
Um, it's just a highlighting how great this kind of like subgrid blueprints is. If I get like uh, planks here really quickly and get ropes. Uh -huh, there's some rope and a rope block. So what we can do is I can place this here, place that there, place that there, and place that there. So some just kind of little post thing. It makes no, it doesn't really make much sense. But what I can do is it's going to show you how great the survival blueprint is. Hold on. Uh huh. And I think we're done. Really. Uh huh. <laughs> Perfectionist here. And what happens is connect these all together. Some rope to that. Rope to that, and rope to that. Here we go. So you've got this little thing that's connected up here. I can do Control B, and now I've created this blueprint. Again, I see the requirements, and it actually flashes between the different variants, which actually can be used to make this. Uh, I can get, I can type in a name, you know, nice sticks, uh, and save this. And once this is saved come to the blueprint control panel there is my nice sticks or I could go to the local only and find the ones that I've made myself place that and as you can see I can place that floating maybe maybe not floating ah, uh, let's see ah, I can right so this is actually now floating and the 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 things aren't there but if I hammer this what you'll see is it will actually spawn in one point to make is the fact that I can't actually select a new blueprint. So if I come back to the panel, you see it changes where it's basically locked into that blueprint. You can see again how, how complete it is, how block, many blocks are incomplete. And you cannot make a new blueprint until you finish it or you cancel it. So you basically need a, a blueprint control block per blueprint. So let's just start hitting this. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then boom. Nice. I don't know why it detached that, but still, uh, normally, if I, if I do it on the ground especially, see here. Don't know if that was, I don't know if that was bad placement from my part or if that's a bug, I'm not sure. But let's just see. Try that again on the ground. Cause it might be because I made it as a... <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, this is the Joel, I will uh, bring team in. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's all from me. Please enjoy this uh, this update. And yeah, I'm looking for more. Bye bye. Thank you, Marek. All right then. So that was Marek's section, and now we are going to get uh, Deep Flame to come in, and we're going to talk about the rest of this update. <laughs> Release it already. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's. I, I'm. I'm. I'm trying to wonder. Maybe Tim will come in and tell me what happened there. I'm a little bit confused. He's. I can hear him telling. Well, what did I do wrong? What did you do wrong? Oh my God! Where do I even begin? Uh, I tried this last week and it worked. this is not my chair, so I'm gonna move it. Is it? Yeah, but yeah. Don't want to bring your chair. We'll cover it in. No, we're not bring. Ah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> This is my chair. It's identical, just with a lot of a lot more stuff hanging over it. Uh, yes, but it's my chair and it's comfortable and everything is tweaked exactly how I want it. Hello, everyone. How are you all? Welcome to the stream. So, zero 07, here we are. Um, you might as well roll the trailer again in a second. We'll be rolling the trailer in a moment. We'll also be releasing the build in a moment. I uh, just wanted to like allow us a brief moment to quickly highlight some of the stuff. I actually wrote down a short list of stuff, but actually we'll probably release before we go through the whole list so mm -hmm. uh, you all be able to play. Um, yeah, he was showing you the blueprint building. Uh, we'll go a little bit more in depth uh, in it in a moment after we run the trailer. There's a lot more details to it. And uh, even as I was walking down like uh, here again, Mark was like, man, the blueprint building is so great. We have to have this in, in like all our games. So, okay. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so we have also been working already with some of the mothers to uh, prepare the, the mods already. So there should not be too much delay for like at least most of the big mods. I'm not sure if Equinox managed to get this Rails mod converted, but uh, yeah, that's just one of the many things. Um, creepy knockoff Barbie engineer. You'll get used to her. She's not that bad. Uh, all right, so where shall we start? Uh, well, we've, we've briefly looked at the new blocks, but of course there's uh, there's like literally almost every block has been uh, retouched. You can see here on the catap catapult, the timbers have been retextured. They have been re uh, they now have these little bezels. They're a lot more detailed. They're no longer actually. They used to be perfect cubes. Now they are slightly more detailed. <laughs> they are still perfect cubes once they get to LED ranges, but like at the close up, they are no longer. Uh, perfect cubes the wheels look at how nice the wheels look oh, I know, glorious yeah and we've actually added the uh, reinforced wheels if you press g and you switch to the wheels type just search for wheel it's uh you might recognize it as the uh as the old wheel oh it's basically the same but Wait, it, has so the, it has the metal rim and it's slightly stronger than the regular wheel so it's been is that being reintroduced then it's, ah, ba it's back in action back in action and there you go it's slightly more Slightly stronger than the, the nice. Oh yeah. my god, it's back! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yep, and uh, yeah, so that was it's actually, actually quite cool I think this is one of the changes since the last public test is that all the small grids have uh, received some attention the catch blocks, the, the timbers, the wheels, the, the bucket, the rope hook, the torsion spring, all these things. Um, because of course uh, a lot of you have had the chance to play during the public test yeah. and um, uh, now back, my old friend. we haven't been sitting still we have been fixing so many but yeah. like we, we received a lot of really good feedback during the public test and we managed to fix a lot of the like almost all of the stability issues that we had uh, I'm, I'm sure that the moment you guys will start to play there will be one guy's like oh the game crashes from startup and of course, these things happen. So again, we will go back to fixing even more issues, uh, but that's just inevitable when you will work on a project as like big and expensive as this. Not expensive, but expensive. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the, the little blueprint demonstration. Like the ropes are now included. Uh, what he did wrong with his blueprint, well, let me tell you, these are not planks or timbers. These are large block, Ah, pillars. the pillars. So you were building a floating large grid, and as you build a floating large grid, that's why they become dynamic and everything detaches. Yeah, so there's not a bug. Apart. It was my fault. They're, they're, I should have recognized that. They're, they're, they're thicker as well than. Uh, and you can now see that they are like float, like vaguely uh, still transparent. Your blueprint is not yet done. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't finished it because. I need I need a better thingy. No, your hammer is not strong enough. I know. Yes, I'm saying I, I need, need a. a I'm not sure why you insist on typing mallet. It's just hammer. Oh, hammer, yeah. Hammer time. <laughs> right. There you go. There it is. Boom. Working as fully as I working planned. glory. That yeah. explains the build stages. I'm glad you've picked up on that. Um, hey Equinox, we were just asking, man, have you managed to? Um, Get your uh, rail mod done yet? Well, if not, he will have all the time in the world coming. You have just mentioned that, right? The, uh, all the modders, like, because I know some people have been working to get it ready since the test, but mm -hmm. there will be some work required from any any mod. Yes, pretty much. But you know, it's, like, we've uh, actually uh, been working with uh, some of the other, like, uh, some of the, like, actually, we gathered like uh, a bunch of the the modders that have like large majorities or very popular blueprints, and we worked with them to get their mods like prepared or debugged. So hopefully it won't be too long for you guys to have your mods. Um, I don't know if you want to uh, go back to the main menu and just go, yeah. just go, we'll, like, to we'll go, go over the whole thing. We'll go through the GUI and um, I'm, I'm waiting for a, a message from, from the guys. Because the, the update's about to go trailer. live, isn't it? Yeah. So when it goes live, we'll roll the trailer. And let's see, here is, why is it running in Fortify? It's running, perfect. And... <laughs> Not memes again. No, oh, it's memes. Oh no, it's that memes. was memes. Oh, it's goodness. memes. I'm just quickly checking the team chat, and it's memes. Uh, <laughs> you can tell that we're, we're ready for release. Oh, I just got the message. That's so okay. So, um, 
what is it what's yeah what, what? we'll probably run the trailer is, is it live now is it uh no i'm go- I, I have to go to set oh you have to go and do it i i am the one with the with the key you know well so i should roll the trailer then when we get back it will be launched yes that is the all right then i will go do that now it's about to be in your hands guys we'll roll the trailer because you might have missed it at the start i'm gonna grab a quick drink i've got a bit of a headache going on so i'm gonna grab that he's gonna do yes. that and we'll be back in just a second enjoy well, the trailer like two or three minutes two or three minutes yep yeah. here it comes guys hype 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 All right then, guys. So there we are once again. Fantastic trailer there, made by Dushan. <laughs> and uh, stream will begin shortly. Yeah, and there we are. Oh, the Cinderella's oh. image is a bit different there. That's not very good. Nice. We're sitting right uh, with the with the new splash screen behind us. Exact. Oh, this is oh this this is this one right here. Okay, yeah, right yeah, on. This is the new splash screen. <laughs> so the update is live. You should, should all be downloading it. I think you said 1.2 gigabyte download. It's a pretty significant. Size. I'm just opting. I'm just switching branch now, so I can get on the the public one. You have to click play, and it will. Yeah, I know. It's ah, it's already doing itself. But for you, it'll be a quick change. You have uh, you were playing the game already, so. So I'm uh, really looking forward to seeing how this will uh, like run down. Like I think it's uh, pretty nice. I'm very happy with uh, with the work that we did, and uh, it's it's. Ah, the reason we call it zero seven one. There's actually a technical reason for that. So when we uh, upload blueprints using like 06, 
We say that the maximum version that it supports is not 0 0.6.99999 infinity. We say it's 0 0.7.0. So when you load it in 0 0.7.0, it actually says like, okay, this blueprint is valid. Mm -hmm. Except we never release 0 0.7.0, we release 0 0.7.1. So 0 0.7.1 will say that 0 0.7.0 is out of date. This oh. way we can ensure that... Uh, I'm on. Ah, you're on the wrong branch now. No, no, I'm on, I'm on public. No, you need to verify your cache integrity. So he just threw Ooh. away all his models. And oh, now, that's not now, good. We got to now he has to download the <laughs> I want the look at this. Look, this is the well, fantastic. Well, well, look, like, I don't want to look. We at can it. look at the old GUI. They've briefly. already been looking at this all, all this there time. There we go. Look, it's the old oh, one. Oh, do go away. I <laughs> <see> this. <laughs> so yeah, we will have to just press. You go to local files. Yeah, I know. I know. Verify. Yeah, but I'm telling for the others. Oh, okay. Verify integrity of game files. You don't even have to let it finish. You can just click cancel and then it will automatically update ah there it is glorious 1.2 gigabyte, gigabyte yeah. gigabyte so have to give us a sec couple minute here well it's lots of models so yeah that a lot makes of models sense. yeah a lot of stuff so welcome everyone who's joining us as well okay um yeah i was just looking at what you got, what you got there <laughs> jack walks in thumbs up good work joel yep well luckily our internet's pretty quick so I truly recommend seconds. that everybody start with clean world, start with as fresh always. slate as always with every major that we release. It's our recommendation. We do support loading worlds from 064, but we mm. really recommend you just start fresh. And, and I'll be honest, I like starting fresh the most and just starting a new world and just seeing what is different because so many things have changed and it's, it's always in the subtle things. And you don't notice the subtle things until you start playing with it and you run into what, uh, oh, actually, this is slightly different than I'm used to. Like, what's going on here? Oh, this block, it places different than I'm used to. And just by doing like chick, 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 it's, it's like it, you, you gradually grow your uh, understanding of, of all the changes and, and the, new, the new world. And of course, it's also healthy to wipe the servers from time to time. Yes. Monker, uh, <laughs> I would love to go into the modding changes, but I'll do that a bit later because I think, in all honesty, it's a topic for a slightly uh, later stage uh, of the we go. demonstration. So one of the first things we changed, uh, let's see. Yeah, all right, cool. There's a build up for us. Uh, we have a dedicated server that we can play on momentarily. I just realized that this, this the video is now like a history lesson. You can actually see no, the, the old. video is the old, the old and you can see you can compare it with the news like wow we can the, the it's square the, it's know. the flatlands it's the square timbers it's the uh, ugly graphics that we had and no so so anyway one of the first things we started to change with zero seven and actually i'm going to pull open the the change log that uh, was posted because that's really the most convenient way for me to go through these things yeah, about this. is the gui and the GUI uh, always used to be a little classic. <laughs> and classic and now, -rate, now it's more classy. Uh, I really think that like the, 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 the actual there's now level of there's actual detail in the screen. You can see that everything is no longer smudgy and stretchy and uh, it's much more like it actually feels like a game now see there's already like uh, some servers up these are actually internal servers that you're seeing <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah like basically one of the things that we did the first the new world screen the new world screen now has these fancy little badges uh, you can see there like it's creative survival we can see easily see what we want uh, like survival is the big centerpiece mm -hmm. And then you have, uh, of course, creative, which opens the arena with some preset. But you can also create custom settings, as always. And, uh, well, here's the screen. So it loads. You can see there, you can select game mode. You can select auto-save settings, online mode. Uh, and you can preset uh, the settings. This is massive. This you is can, really You can disable yeah. structures there, whatever you want. Um, so you basically you can have click on, um, on mods. You can even pre like load up your mods here, as we all know. Of course, there's no mods that, ready. That already, yeah. You can see so, all, all red. <laughs> all red. So let's just forget about that. But one more important thing is that we added here save preset. So you can actually save these presets and quick start your world with your settings. 
again and again and again. So. There you go. And this is, and this is like, uh, this is a massive deal to have all the world settings that you want. I mean, maybe you have like a, a perfect creative world setting, or maybe it's a perfect survival, maybe a hardcore survival setting. And rather than doing it all again, you can just create it. And as soon as I hit save, we got a nice little animation. And now, because we have more than the three, we actually have this uh, nice <laughs> card wheel, which is so it's, satisfying for me to, to play it's around with. It's called a uh, roulette. Roulette, yeah. And I you, you can, can also use a mouse as well. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can! Oh, this didn't work last week. So you can actually click. Oh, it was there also last week. It didn't work properly for me. But now, ready? Oh, no. Maybe not. Wait. Like, oh. if you let go of the mouse or you scroll to the edge, it, it stops. It works. I'm trying to get it to... Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Kind of. There's, yeah. a si there's a maximum speed on this because otherwise it's kind of silly. Yeah. Okay. All right. I will thank... Fashion and of course, you can actually... Can, you can go back to it and you can change it. And then you can save it again, um, and then just overwrite it pretty much, or you can delete it as well if you don't want it anymore. So that's that's one point. Yeah. So yeah, let's just start up uh, this uh, world, and we will uh, get ready to show some new stuff. Because there is, of course, the whole other list of things. Again, not not the least the block visuals, which is one of the most, uh, it's a kind of like one of the flagship uh, changes to this update. The stream is freezing. I don't, I, I don't think so. I think it's just because the game is loading and it takes some time. Or maybe just for some people. Ah, maybe he's downloading the update and his bandwidth is uh, saturated. All right, so welcome to Wildstar. We're in creative, perfect. Guys want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, the new trees. So let's start with the new trees since we're there now anyway. Uh, all the trees have had their models updated. Um, they are a little bit more advanced than they used to be, as we will see when we ever encounter an oak tree. And the game, uh, like, yeah. Even the regular, the spruces and the pines have been uh, updated. Um, and you can see it, like the particles have had some, uh, some touches. And uh, oh, I think you're just combating yeah, it. It's I because there's a tree next to it uh -huh. and it wants you to harvest the tree. It's no, it's kind of annoying how the detector sometimes so attacking. Oh, right. to pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Tree. I now, see now. now you can see left click to start yeah. cutting. Now the cutting is working. So there goes the tree. It falls down. Because one thing, of course, is the Which fact that tree tree stumps. If you remove them, then the tree will never ever grow back. Yes. If you leave it like that after a couple of hours, they will start to regrow. Yep. And also in this update, just you can actually now plant trees. You by by taking the uh, the branches. You can actually um, make seed, craft seed bags for trees and actually plant seeds. Yes. And uh, now nah, there's like lots of these. Let's find an oak tree. Yeah. Let's see if you can fly. Just fly up and find an oak tree. There's bound to be some. Uh, there we go. go. Right like in the middle of it. Look at that. Nice little oak tree. In the middle of a field. In the middle there. of the nice. grassy field. <laughs> I know Ronin, but for gameplay reasons, we had to change it. So here's the new oak tree. Uh, like, the walk around. Oh, it's already dead. There we go. Joel is too fast. I got the iron. It's a little bigger that, than so. the, the regular trees. And uh, that means that when, you, when we started to cut it and it spawned a regular log, it did not look very nice. So what we actually did is we uh, allowed it to uh, become a bit more chunky. And when you cut it into pieces you will find that it spawns quarters instead. The quarters are, of course, just logs as you are used to them. They, they function exactly like any other log. You can pick them up, you build a log timbers out of it, uh, you can throw them in your sawmill, they will process just fine. And uh, this this is much more, this is visually nicer way of, of cutting the, the oak tree. So you cut off the branch there, you see that? Yeah, you can cut off the branches and it's a much more, uh, Fun way of oh, it's split in half though. Look at that. Chopping the oak tree into pieces. It's very satisfying. Much more satisfying. Yes, yeah. Much more satisfying. All right, let's uh, let's build something. Okay. We have a nice oh, open square it, here. This is so for the this is for the banana, right? The boomerang. I keep what? 
Oh, you're, you're, I, th- you're look, 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 look. I, I called it boomerang last week, yes. and then Greg told me it's called the banana. Uh, so now going back that's to boomerang. That's an inside joke. Officially, we call it boomerang. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, let me just build. This I can up. even explain why it's called boomerang. So when you aim, if you now uh, like aim above the well, grid, just aim over the grid. I, I know. I was just going to say, like, of course, in yeah, medieval. I want to explain why it's called boomerang. Oh, okay. oh I was going to explain oh, what it is first. Fine. Or, or you can do that if you want. No, no. I was, you can explain no. why. I was going to explain what it is. I, I don't know. Was, it right? was that the right way around? Well, but basically, the fa- fact is, in medieval before, to actually be able to build on top of something, you'd actually have to be able to see the face to place the block. Whereas now, I can just aim up, and even though I can't see the face of that top block, I can actually place it above it. Right. I can go higher and, and higher and, and higher and, and higher. So the way this works, and this is why it's called boomerang, is because what, what happens is it detects away from you, and then it detects backwards to find the uh, optimal placement location for these blocks. You can place behind there as well, you can see that. Look, tiny little thing. Yes. I can actually place behind it. And it will actually align with multiple grids if there's like different shapes and grids positioned behind it. It will just snap, 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 snap. And this is what happens when you put too much weight on a single block. There we go, that's one. Which brings us to the next point with structure integrity. There was uh, like visual changes to the GUI, of course, but we'll get to that in a moment, actually. I'm not sure what Joel is doing now. But you can see there, structural load light on the, on the GUI. You can see how much pressure is on the block that you're looking at. <laughs> as I as I build up here, well, I'm about to build a tower. You can actually still enable and in creative. You can see there's some yellow and some green. So if you aim at the the green ones, then the GUI will tell you. Oh shoot! Don't ever like you're not OSHA certified. Uh, I would say. <laughs> oh. Uh, it took damage. So you can see the structural load oh, here is heavy. Heavy, and you can see heavy, 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 and then it goes heavy, to light. light. There's three stages. Oh, critical as well. Light, yeah. heavy, critical, and well, technically there's exceeded, but usually the block is dead. Like, <laughs> like technically it shows exceeded, but you're not fast enough to see it. So maybe that should be is that critical down. That should now? be critical. Now how do we go? It's red text as well. So heavy is medium. That's a way to, you know, as you're building things, as right. long as it's not critical, you, if as long as it's only, as long as it's heavy, you know, you can carry on building. So for make a sure more. to occasionally check your your base blocks to make sure you're not uh, stacking too much on it. Because of the critical, it means it really could go at any stage. You know, just one block to the left, one block to the right could be. It doesn't. Boom. It doesn't instantly break. No, no. It takes damage, but so if you have someone next to an exceeding block and they start smacking it and smacking it and smacking it they can actually keep it alive long enough for the other to fix what's causing too much pressure but uh honestly in all our play tests we have not managed to create that situation because we're like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> i hear some noises of, of of blocks breaking down oh no too late too late and that no so yeah, that's, uh, that, that has happened quite a few times. Um, we have many, many stone blocks, uh, but also uh, the, the wooden blocks have been updated. So it's not just the stone blocks that have, uh, have been retextured, but you can appreciate when the game is like, when you're moving the camera, you can truly appreciate the parallax effect. It's still one triangle or two triangles that you're looking at there. Performance is still good. So the performance is still like, it's, it, it's still good on the performance, like not, not massive hit, uh, like if we had shaped every single model like that, I'm pretty sure the game won't run. <laughs> one block would be enough for me. Yeah, one block <laughs> would be enough for the game. Like, watch right, every you know, little roll. Like yeah. Ten million triangles, and let, let's <laughs> let's not do that. So yeah, that's it for the stone blocks. Let's uh, let's put some uh, some some wooden stuff up that we have. Mm. So, or actually, put some battlements also. Battlements are sexy. No, that's a ledge, not a battlement. That's a battlement. Okay. Do you think you got a st- oh, those stairs are like a lot. The stairs know. have been updated. Yes. Oh, I was, I was you managed about to exceed the structure integrity <laughs> there. If <laughs> one, I know, I don't know. Oh, you almost got hit there. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just gonna start fresh here. Right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, this is, this is also, uh, with the building, there's something that's also new. Uh, there's many things new, but uh, just jump up on this or start flying or whatever you want. Let's 
to this building here. So One these have been these have been remodeled, the support blocks. They are sexy new wood. They are also nicely mount, mount uh, like structurally sound, and they are nicely mountable. But uh, can you can you fly up for a second, just a little bit, and take a block, and uh, take take your one hand of the keyboard, one hand, and put, <laughs> your, put your other <laughs> hand on the mouse. I know. Oh yeah, just, yes. just hold one hand up, yeah. another on the mouse. So I now click and hold the mouse, and and move it. Ooh, line dragging! You don't need to hold control anymore for line dragging. It's now easily usable. Yeah. For plane dragging, you still need to make a uh, shift. Yes, and that and that also works in survival as well. It also but works places... in survival, but it is still bound to your character distance, so it, yes. you cannot drag too far. But it means that you can basically, um, it will place down the construction models, or not the finished blocks, of course. But why? Because it's convenient. <laughs> Also, another thing is showing battlement placement, right? How beforehand you'd have to get oh, right to the edge. This is going to be structurally sound, guys. I know. You have to get right to the edge and then hit the face or... Fall down to your be death. ...be at the front. Whereas now you can be here and you can place it safely by walking along. Yep. Or I can just click and drag. Oh, I've got to get down here first. Yeah, there we go. I have to move. Boom. Oh. And then everything breaks. I mean, I've, it's been a, I've been a fantastic engineer so far. Yeah, this is why we don't let you build stuff. <laughs> it's it's okay. It, it shows it off still though. Yes. Right? <laughs> Some really there's, there's the amount of quality of life improvements in this is, is yeah. quite uh, crazy. First right? mods are already alive thanks to Storied Past. Great, thank you Storied Past for being so fast with your with your mods. Um, right, let's move on to some more blocks i think we have still some blocks yeah wow well, we, we i don't, I don't think we're gonna go through every single block on the stream because right, nearly every single enough. one no no you can tell me some more but i'm just saying that in general like nearly every block has well, been redone apart we, from the mechanical we, blocks we also have most like some of the wooden blocks are fine but the, 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 the what are they called the half timbered blocks they have been uh, retouched as well and the roofs you should show the roofs you should totally show the roofs. okay yeah, yeah. they are very nice I just, just, to show just make a nice flow. Yeah, no, I just wanted to show these uh, how the st stone slabs look. Yeah, so the, the stairs are now. Um, oh no, she's just. Ah, oh, that's the dust of various. Aha, this is all the corners. Okay, it's fine. Yes. All the corner cases. The stairs are now in the slab form rather than the same texture, which is quite nice. It, it gives a bit of contrast in the stairs rather than looking yes. exactly the same. I mean, that looks fantastic. Yeah, looks very. like royal i would say even. yeah fancy ah, the moon mod has been updated nice work with yeah the there you go moon mod ready so let me just put down some stuff here i'm just gonna build a little uh just hold down and shift drag the nice little plane there you go okay a little, little house here well it doesn't have to be a house oh okay i, I just want oh, just just something real quick because we have a lot of stuff to go through yeah i know oh i know I it's, it's easier if we Keep keep the pace up. In that case, I just put them down like that. Then. Yeah, that's 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 what I was. That's, that's what you wanted. <laughs> that's what I was expecting. Again, so you see this lovely roofs, parallax on the roofs. See the as parallax well. on the roofs. Because that I think, see the really sexy tiles. So would that have been before just flat a flat texture, yes, right? And a sharp edge. Yeah. Oh, we, oh yeah, d yeah. Good point. Yeah. So uh, most of the roof more issues that were in the public test have been resolved. Uh, there's bound to be a few more, so keep reporting us whatever compounding issues you find with uh, the roofs and uh, the placement, and we will do our best to get them resolved. Yes. Here is the thatch roof. It's fantastic layering now. You can really feel the depth of the of the interface. And um, then there's also the wooden and the wooden shingles, also pretty tasty. Like I do believe we once had a, a meeting where we were showcasing all these new blocks. Yeah, and, it was and, like and, silence. And, and then and, <laughs> and, and, and someone's like, "That looks so realistic. I want to lick it." So <laughs> tasty, tasty blocks. Um, all right, so let's let's do a little a uh, little bit of the the blueprint uh, building because that's also uh, also nice nice work. Uh, let's place let's let's work with a there we have prepared a nice uh, default uh, small grid blueprint for you to 
experiment with, and that's actually what we're replacing, is a nice the sun a bit more. small house. Sure. So if you go to of uh, let's let's first stop a second here. No, just open the screen because I want to talk about this screen. So the blueprint screen has also been redone. Mm, it shows you now like uh, whether it's a local blueprint or a remote blueprint. So you can see this uh, Maxima Maltis first <laughs> one. You can aim even no, no, don't. Oh yeah, sorry. Aim at the Steam icon. Aim at the uh, little Steam uh -huh. icon. So you can see who is the author. You can see on the icon next to it, this blueprint is a version old. It might load, but it might have problems. And the last one is like, it's not sure whether it uses mods or not. <laughs> There's a little icon, so you can you can, you can quickly tell like, mm, will this blueprint load? And if you go to the, like, for example, on the left there, we have all kinds of uh, bookmarks. So the top one is default. That's just like a subscribed, favorite, local. Then we have official only. Uh, th th you don't have to click on all of them, but okay. like, like skip the, the Steam ones because like I know the last one is kind of sluggish. There's local blueprints, so you can see what's on the local and published on me. So those blue ones are always your blueprints local. But let's uh, let's play here the place here the official basic house. These uh, you can see here on the left the requirements that you need to build it. Like he's quickly s saw it already, but it's uh, pretty pretty convenient. You can see the tags at the bottom. You can see it's a building and it's vanilla so uh -huh. you can tell that it uses no mods because were they there last week in the test oh, no that's actually oh, that's all the new, new things that's okay, a new yeah. thing and uh no you can place this blueprint and we've seen how that works so there's two types of blueprints there's large grid blueprints and there's small grid blueprints and they work slightly different so when you place a large grid blueprint into the ground boom, you see only the layer that's in the voxels is is hammerable so if you just get the hammer and we start whacking it, you will see that it will uh, slowly, it will first turn into pro oh like sorry. Uh, the, the what's, the, what's it called, like these Boom. construction stages. And then you when see you the new fini construction stages finish well, hammering yeah. the construction stages, uh, of course, it's nice and easy and creative. It's already done. And you can see there in the bottom, like which blocks are still to be built. So, so you can tell your progress. It's a different thing because on, on small grid you can just hit on the small grid you can hit any point. Yes. On the large grid you have to hit the specific block. You can't just come up to it and. Uh, you you didn't finish the very last one to the left. Well, it does, should, shouldn't matter too much, but it won't continue because you're missing the one block. See, now it moves on to the next layer automatically once the layer is completed, and. Again, you repeat the process until it's finished. Place down the build states. <laughs> yeah. If you run back to this. The, the noise that you heard, that's the error noise that happens when you click like a loony and you're not aiming it correctly. It will play. <laughs> it's like the error sound. It used to be that. this uh, click. It's now like this matrix printer. I don't know who thought it was a great idea to be the matrix printer, but <laughs> sometimes I just get what I get and I have to deal with it. <laughs> Uh, that was it. We got matrix printers. But also what you can do is, uh, this skip layer is quite useful sometimes. If you get to the point where like, yes. I don't know, you don't have, you don't have the parts to make the, the layer you want, but you don't really care because maybe it's not necessary. You can hit skip layer. And what that does, as you can see, it skipped the, it skipped the, I haven't finished the, the, the kind of layer, wall layer, yeah. but it, I, now the next layer's appeared. Yes. So that's, that's something also. Yeah, and it helps you, for example, when you have a block that's underground, like a f like in a previous iteration of this blueprint, there was a floor piece under the, 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 the one of the supports and we couldn't hammer it. So then you cannot get there and instead of having to dig around and seeing how to fix it, you just click skip layer and it moves on. Um, and it's the same when you have a pillar that's just compounded in an inconvenient way or like for whatever reason you need to skip it, you can skip it. Is there no sound? So what's what's the answer saying? Oh, he's talking about matrix printing. All right. All the sounds have also been uh, overhauled. It's part of the update. It's isn't part it? of the Audio. update. Audio. Hold on. You managed to hammer like quite like a, a third of the blocks. There's also floor blocks, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But I think I can probably start building yeah, it yeah, anyway. It's yeah, already it's there. At the moment, it's visible. You just so, so, so I finished that, so you can see got a nice little. Yeah. 
And this also like works with your friends, so if someone can place the blueprint. It doesn't even have to be a workshop blueprint. They can just share their local blueprints on the server uh, and play with everyone. <laughs> Everybody's screaming, Joel, stop clicking like a loser. Like oh, a loo sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't hear it. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's move on. What do we have next <laughs> on the list before he he drives you all mad with the matrix printer? Sorry guys. Oh man, um, I can't. Cause if I knew about it, if I was listening, had my headphones on, I'd probably be going, oh, that's the, avoid that. I'm just I'm just in silence here. It's glorious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, there's the new female engineer. Uh, oh yeah, we're not here. Okay. Quickly go through. What's, what does my watch want? Longest move streak. I'm sitting still, guys. <laughs> this is the, the most he's moved all day. It's yeah. just like a little bit of. Well, I was flailing. running. I was running back and forth the whole day, so like I've been pretty busy. Um, changing model. Perfect. So here's our latest iteration of the female engineer. Now it, it's uh, finally Marek is happy with her. It took some time. We've had a couple of iterations and uh, she's a little, uh, yeah, like she changed in uh, many ways or, or uh, what's it called? Um, what's the word for like race, like proportions, proportions. Yes. So we had to reanimate her completely because the skeleton changed and uh, I'm not talking about one proportion. I'm talking about the whole character, of course. Uh, models like the bones changed and everything had to be slightly tweaked and changed and that actually required a lot of uh, re-artisting and uh, that it's a uh, it's a it's her her eyes are the color of the head <laughs> it's a deep brown wow okay Let's let uh, moving on. Um, actually, let's show off the world chunking. We can do that. World chunking is a feature. It's written in the in the post, but like for everybody to understand what it is, it's a, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do something. All right. Just, what are you doing? What I doing? want to show. Don't exit yeah, the world. I'm gonna go back. I know. I'm, no, no. I'm not. I'm doing. Calm down. Don't exit wow. the world. Don't exit the world. We're gonna show it with this yeah. house. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Why I were you clicking exit? So I was gonna show the fact that the different size is building. I was gonna switch the world quickly. No, don't do that. You can show it with this block. Okay, all right. So <laughs> now that we've uh, we've been through the, the this part, so world chunking is a technique we introduced to uh, reduce the memory usage and also speed up the loading times. So. Um, Basically what it means is we, <laughs> we separate, we kind of use, if you, if you open the map for a second, you can see there's regions. Regions are like chunking the world in a way, but we're not using these regions for the world chunking. It's a completely different system. Yeah. But it's a good way to start thinking about it conceptually, is that we sep we've, we've divided the world into like uh, bits or uh, chunks. And if you fly away, you will see that the house at some point will disappear. It gets unloaded. Of course, most people cannot fly in survival. It's not part of the, the usual mechanics. You have to go a little bit further. You see the trees disappear first. But of course, I'm moving much quicker than you would ever normally move. Right? Yeah, yeah. In survival, you have only two ways of moving. It's walking or fast traveling. And still there. Still there. We, we don't want to blip it there, there goes. we don't want to hide it too early because then it uh, disappears I was just, I was, all i was saying is because i just wanted to quickly switch so you can see how the bigger the grid is the longer it takes to disappear so if you have an enormous fortress or an enormous bridge mm -hmm. then it will pop out a lot later. further away later than it yeah. will like a little hut pretty much so obviously it's not as noticeable because if, if it was the same range for everything like it would be yeah it could get kind of crazy exactly yeah, so, sorry about the flora, guys. Like, I, it's because Leon, so I'm having some uh, performance issues with my not the game, just the uh, my streaming. Actually, when I had the when I have the uh, the graphics turned up, um, the game's running okay, but I'm losing uh, frames and OBS. So it's a it's a PC streaming issue. That's why I had them turned down because, of course, when you have the flora there, everything is less. Yeah, it's not as noticeable, right? So right. anyway, uh, the grids. Uh, there is no chunk border. The chunks are not um, fixed size. Uh, it's they the, if a grid exceeds certain dimensions, it goes into a larger chunk. 
it's kind of like when you have a spatial um, subdivision like octree uh, it's kind of like this but subtly different it's very technical and like i don't think it's entirely suitable for for like the stream but uh, we, we can chat about it at a later date if you'd like but basically grids there's no chunk border for it it just is bigger and it will chunk further uh, this means also that if you have a very large world, the loading time is still very quick because it doesn't have to load every single entity in the game. In the past, when you have very complicated worlds, it would actually take a really long time for it to load every single grid that is there. And now it only loads what is directly around you and that's it. Um, actually, we can look at the sunset. I was about to say that, I was uh, thinking that, yeah. You're flying towards the sun, so it's actually becoming day again. Mm -hmm. If you fly in the other direction, you just fly backwards, then you can... You can or like that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you see the sun slowly sinking, uh, or, well, it, I suppose it's not sinking, but you can see the sky is turning a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. You're stuck on the... On the oh, no, no, sorry, yeah. You get the, sc the sky gets a little reddish, the sun gets a little reddish, eventually it turns into darker and then it becomes night if you're not flying so fast the eye habitation uh, will be also ca super, catches yeah. up synchronizes but oh, let me just get a bit well, let me get a little bit here so we can see that and then you're gonna have oh, there we go so it's right there. Yeah. um i get 20 fps more fps than zero seven so good it's butter very smooth now says presumably yeah. tim for some yes, people good. we see performance for like it's pretty nice because now you see everything's got this orange glow around us now, look at this. So if you had any buildings, you'd have this kind of warm feeling going on right now. And if you're like in the mornings, then there's actually a little bit of fog. Unless you're oh, in it's the, beautiful, yeah. If you're in the desert, then there is no fog. So it's even like bound to the location where you're at. Actually, if we... And if actually, if you fly around the planet yeah. away from the sun, if we look at the, at the sky, you can see that the stars are also uh, no longer static to the camera they are now uh, if you're going around the planet so you see different stars there's lots of nice touches the guys have been honestly zip tie there's there's so much has been done like uh, we said last week i think nearly every uh, nearly nearly no, no part of the engine has been touched in this update you know what i mean like there's been everything has been Pretty changed much. a little bit it's so. very very big uh, changes were made to many many things in the game getting there now i hope <laughs> Ah, you're going for fully around the planet? Yeah, I should oh, have switched to spectator. Yeah, that's gonna take you a while more. You're, you're not even halfway, man. Uh, okay. Let me just switch to control. A little trick here. All right, here we go. Oh, that's better. <laughs> too fast. There you go. Here, more, here, come, here comes morning. So don't don't go too fast towards the, towards the light because the uh, update speeds are not going to keep up with you. And you will miss this. So you can see the fog kicking in the distance there. Yeah. And I have to say, like when it's like regular running, like when you're not doing it with spectator tricks, it looks very, it feels very nice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, very nice. So nice if I come people. down, to, if I come <laughs> down to the. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know how it's coming across on stream because of course the stream, uh, but. On the screen we're looking at, you can really see. It gives you a good sense of depth because you can see the closer yes. uh, hills compared to the first. It's not just like one big black silhouette on Absolutely. the away. You can actually see the. And in the far distance, you can see the sun just peeking up through the valleys. Yeah. You get a little bit closer, the fog will become even more intense, I think, and then eventually it will start to dissipate. Dissipate, yeah. yeah. Bit too. Far. Oh, you can. Oh, maybe a bit too far. Uh, it's a very brief moment in the day that yeah. the sunset is at this mo uh, sunset and the sunrise is at its most beautiful. It's true, but it's nice because you, you get these different feelings that you get these different vibes when you're playing right yeah. now. So there's there's more vibes um, and feelings because beforehand it just seemed to be night and then kind of I don't know. There's something about the the, the changes here which yeah. is just so much more satisfying. Like if we're going through the forest. kind of misty forest here in the morning. Yeah. I'm a, I can tell you it'll look much better when you actually check it out in game for yourself. It's probably coming across on stream, but it's... Uh, the nights are also pretty dark, so make sure you bring some torches. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It, I mean, it's... I think it's... Yeah, it's... I'm not sure you've tweaked the settings there, but it definitely is uh, darker at night. All the settings were tweaked. Everything was tweaked. Everything was tweaked. There is not, a, the single, not a single thing in the game that is not tweaked. 
We call those a photographic 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so we again, like a different vibe here. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to show real quickly. Mm. Just, just again, it's like it's like a uh, speed. Oh, actually, this actually sounds really good. When I'm this far away, seeing the uh, shift of eight, so that it sinks to the. Ah, that's what I wanted. That's the I was trying. I did control F A. Ah. So that now, if I fly it quite quick, quickly, just seeing the stars there up above moving. Let's go back quicker. And if I was to even open up Medieval Master, the guys have added a new sun rotation. This is also new in this update. Yes. If I select... You have to be... There you go. And then take this off. That's even quicker there. You can just quickly see... Oh. See the... Uh, rotation happening. Something you don't have to worry about Medieval is because obviously we don't have multiple planets. So we can actually do that skybox rotation. Also, right? that's, uh, those settings are now synchronized in the multiplayer. So when the admins are changing it, but like this guy, for example, when, when you're always, playing on the server, yeah. he's always touching it because it's better for the stream or something like that. Always making it daytime, I know. Uh, everybody who is around you will also have it daytime. All right, let's move on to some more stuff. Um, let's see... Up here we will not run into them, so let's uh, forget about the AI changes. Okay. Because that's going to be a little bit of tricky to, to get them. You can explain them though, quickly. But uh, we've, we've done some tweaks to the AI. The pathfinding is uh, kind of cleaned up and uh, more, more easily usable. Uh, this was uh, made in collaboration with uh, Equinox, who did uh, the heavy lifting. And um, then it was- Shout out to Equinox there, yeah. Yes, putting in Major, putting in major thanks to Equinox. And uh, then it was just very easy step to uh, make some touches to the AI. So now actually when you see them uh, observe the deer, for example, you can sneak up on them when you're crouching, they, they will not see you coming. Uh, when you can see them eating the plants now, they will eat berries. It's really, really cool. And, and they can actually come in and eat your berries. And they will eat your farm. They eat have, <laughs> they have a eat your cabbages. They have a passion for flax and wheat and they, uh, will, they will come and eat your farm so it might, might it has more sense now to actually put fences around your yes put, put fences, some fences around, your around your crops they yeah. yesterday i was playing on the I how, on the mm. test dedicated server that we use <laughs> and i was about to harvest my wheat and i see this deer <laughs> walking towards it and i'm like oh no you don't <laughs> aggressive ai i wonder how quickly they actually munch it down will they, will they just will they, oh, if they're in they a field will, they just go they munch will, munch will, munch, uh, munch they will take like a bite and then they're full oh, okay, for a okay, right. <laughs> they will not plunder your whole field in seconds but if you're <laughs> just ignoring you your field that? and this deer is nearby you will actually eat everything well the problem is time. sometimes you get like whole you get like whole herds of them i've seen like we came to the spot and there was like five deer in the space of 100 meters and they, uh, if they were just kind of like going through your farm be yeah and uh, so I see some love in the chat for Equinox guys because it's a massive like thing to kind of go out of his way to is you know in his free time to actually improve the AI there. It's, uh, it's the pathfinding. The, the pathfinding. The AI the, changes the, yeah. are, are ours. Uh, yeah, the AI changes are the part, but the pathfinding, which pathfinding is very important the, for the AI. That was very important. It was yeah. very intertwined with the old AI system and was also buggy as uh, as heck. But uh, yeah. And then uh, we also redid the barbarians, so they can now actually attack while running, and uh, they no longer forget about you as easily. They will break down the doors to get to you, so you will get some years Johnny moments <laughs> as they just chop their way through the through the castles. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and you will see them wandering at night in the distance, like holding a torch and. Uh, you can kind of tell whether or not they're lurking outside. Do you want to spawn in barbarians? No, because it's too much work to get that okay, to okay. Um, Other noteworthy features that we have. Uh, dynamic environment we've covered. Mm -hmm, yeah. Lots and lots of modding changes. Lots of modding changes. Oh boy. Yeah, I saw someone was asking about the modding changes, so. Uh, yeah, basically everything has changed. <laughs> um, blocks have changed completely, and um, wow, yeah, it's, it's still it's still medieval. Sometimes there's so many like moments. You just look up, it's like damn, you know. Mm. Look at that. Yeah, it's very sexy. Um, I'm trying to think here because I'm referring to this. Oh, sorry, referring to this blog post here mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, we 
Just gone through. You, we have I gone think it's the same as I, I have here. So multiplayer. We talked about the, of course, the. Have you? We haven't talked about all of the mo things in multiplayer. Do you want to mention some of the other things? Oh, it's just it's little right. touches. Oh, right, okay. play, like, it's nothing, nothing too major. Um, so oh, we haven't shown off this. Yeah. Ah, the new crafting screen. Yes. It's a uh, it's a point that there's there was some uh, contention uh, on on whether it's good or not, but uh, hmm. it is what it is. Um, one of the main uh, things that we saw, especially amongst newer players, is that crafting was confusing. The old screen uh, was confusing, and actually we've had some iterations. We had some UX professionals uh, look at it, and everybody kind Give of agreed feedback, that right? the, the old screen uh, needed some work, and. Uh, uh, you're you're kind of tool tipping. Oh, sorry. So what we changed is firstly we made the recipe list no longer the little icons that look like they're already items that you can just drag to your toolbar. Uh, they are now just list elements where they clearly describe what it is, what they need, etc. Um, the color indicates whether you can craft it. It will tell you what you're missing. You can craft it. You can see the requirements at the top. Then you see there in the middle, like so a little bloop, bloop, bloop. over there. You can see it's working, and when it finishes working, you can take it into your inventory. And at that point, it's like in your inventory, and you can drag it to the toolbar, and it's a thing you can interact with. By making it these conscious steps, uh, we make it very clear to what we want the user uh, or the player to do. So <coughs> now it's more organized, it's alphabetical, and it should be easier to find what you need. And you can also see you guys the uh, the new seeds the trees as well which yes, is uh, I, I can't wait to see like people planting palm trees in their like uh, alpine castles and yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, can you craft some timbers now let's say you have a log uh, in your I inventory uh -huh. right now like let's say, let's play an imaginary story okay okay so let's say you have a log in your inventory and you're like i want to make a bed so what do you need for to make a bed you need timbers so you can queue up the timbers and um well, you don't actually have a log. Okay, let me just so fix that. Let's, 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 let's add a log. There we go. There we go, one log. So you place, you craft the timbers. You can double click as well, can't you? You yeah. can double click as well and just let it go. Let's find the bed in the meantime. And uh -huh. So don't take the timbers, just let them be. Just find the bed. It's alphabetical, so it'll be at the top. Yeah. Uh, where is the bed? I haven't ah, you need a crafting table. Yeah, you yeah, need yeah. a crafting table. You're missing the resource that requires two logs. <laughs> okay. Add some more logs to your inventory. Yeah, just, just, just add log like, it up. Add, add, right. like, add like four or five. There you go. All right, let's make the crafting table. So we all know the crafting table. It's the, the good old crafting table. Crafting table has so many recipes. It's a little bit confusing. I apologize for that, but that's just how so it is. So if you, it's still sat there. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's still sat yeah, there. Okay, right. It doesn't automatically get taken. We really want that take part to be a conscious action and mm -hmm. no longer automatic because it's if it's automatic, people start to believe it's automatic, and then when it's not automatic for whatever reason, mm -hmm. people get confused. So. Uh, let's craft it now. Let's uh, let's imagine that we don't have the timbers for the bed. So throw those timbers you have. Throw them somewhere. No. Oh. No. Just make a make a chest. Oh, okay. Okay. Make right. a chest. You can craft a chest here. Like wooden chest. It's at the W. Yeah. W section. Or not. I haven't got it yet. Have I? Ah, uh, large chest and small chest. Ah, there we go. Oh, we need a stockpile of the timber. So it's a stockpile we also for oh, yeah, lumber. Aha! Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Small stockpile for lumber. Let's craft it. All right, let's put that somewhere, and let's put those timbers that you have in the, in the stockpile for lumber, so that they're out of the way. So now we have no uh, no things in our inventory. Now, let's say you cannot make the bed, as you can see, because the bed is red, it requires timbers, we don't have timbers. So let's make these timbers, because there is a small quality of life still in here that doesn't require you to take everything. Okay. So let's make the timbers. So timbers needed for the bed. Don't take them, just let them sit yep, there. Yeah, cooking up. When they are finished cooking, you will see that the bed becomes is no longer red. You can now craft it directly from the crafting cube. And, and, and it will, see just, and it will take, it from, will take from there. <gasps> so you don't have to uh -huh. necessarily take it to your inventory. You can you see four, all the beds you like. Two, there you go. There you go. That's and you quite can, nice as you well. You can also take all if you want in a single click. 
Boom. Nice. Really nice. nice. Yeah. Um, so now let's uh, let's close the screen and let's open a furnace. Or right, let's build a furnace. Uh, because the furnace is uh, also nice. Furnace has uh, fuel. And of course, fuel also has to be represented some way. So the fuel is represented in the top right corner. And you can just drag your logs there as you smelt stuff. And it will just smelt your poor steel hammer down. Uh, I could ice the bar as well. The mire is up there. And it will stop when it has nothing else to do. Mm -hmm. You can no longer douse an individual. So oh, plan okay. a little ahead. Uh, we, uh, we, we want to make you at least... Uh, Think about your resources okay. and plan about your like wasting it or actually mostly people like we know we we never care we just chuck the the, the wood in there, but uh, <laughs> uh, we kind of want people to like uh, figure that out. Uh, and let's paste there a um, sawmill mechanical sawmill because uh, mechanical blocks also require power, but they are a little different. Mechanical blocks don't, strictly speaking, need a crafting screen. So we just show you the inventory screen. You can see it's not powered and it has a toolbar slot. Mm, okay. And um, well, we're not going to power it now because uh, it's going to be too much work to build. But mm -hmm. you can also click on the little gear icon there. There it is. And you can see the crafting screen. So there's no oh. tool, there's no tool slot, tool uh, head in there. So when you, like, let's add there a tool head. And then you can see, just add both of them to your inventory. And let's open the screen again. And uh, you can drag it there, or you can drag it here. You will see that the crafting list will update. Uh, maybe you need to close it and open it. Like, just toggle the screen. There okay, you go. So, so you can see uh, what it can craft with this tool head. So you, you can kind of explore. Um, what the tool head supports. So when I see this stuff, I really think about what models could do with this uh, as well. You cannot drag it here, like, it's like that. Yeah. And honestly, I think I just think about the potential for models and what they could use if they had, like, with this tool head idea mm -hmm. and then what yes. different heads. Screen allow you needs to, craft. to update, so we found a we yeah. found a tiny bug. We found a tiny bug. Um, so yeah, this allows you to discover what is uh, what is uh, like. Uh, possible to build with this tool heads and mm -hmm. like, it makes it easier to identify what resources they need because it's sometimes you can have like a block and you're not sure what's up. So Tails MM, uh, we are working on the sound bug. We were working on the sound bug the whole week, but the guy we were go cooperating with to identify the sound bug stopped talking to us. So we never got feedback on the changes that we made. So I'm sad to hear that it's broken for you and like uh, we'll work with you uh, over the weeks to uh, get that fixed as soon as we can because it's pretty <laughs> irritating bug and we don't know what is causing it. We've been trying to reproduce it or yeah. trying to fix it yeah. and we don't know what it is, but we're really working on it. So uh, contact me on Discord and I will help. Uh, I will, we will, we will like start iterating to mm. figure out how to solve it. Sim speed bug? The is sim speed bug is now uh, a good, gone, dead, oh, buried, fantastic. killed, murdered forever. So what was the sim speed bug? The sim speed bug was caused by Havoc memory uh, leaking. We have very thoroughly uh, investigated everything that uses Havoc and make sure that nothing is leaking um, memory anymore in, in Havoc. So what you call the sim speed bug was actually Havoc saying after some time, like, hey, I'm out of memory. I'm going to stop working now. Uh, <laughs> we added there this automatic reboot. So we, we fixed the, we, we introduced that automatic reboot in 06 that would like, because Havoc would say, it would send actually a message like, hey, I'm out of memory. I'm not going to work anymore. I'm done. And uh, we tried to hook that to restart, restart the server. It wasn't entirely reliable because when Havoc runs out of memory, it sometimes is like, like doesn't even want to throw the message, no. but you know. Yeah. Uh, in addition, not as much stuff is in memory because of the world chunking. A lot of the grids are not actually loaded or are unloading and should also reduce the, the memory pressure on Havoc. Uh, just, I'm just thinking now, uh, update wise, mm -hmm. are there any screens we haven't shown off? I've shown off the blueprints. I'm trying to think if there's any. Mm. All the I think everything else is the same. All, isn't the, it? all the major uh, things have been retouched. Let's yeah. just see. 
Yeah. Um, small thing about voxel hands that obeys landscaping stakes. Yeah. So this means you can you, you can put down the voxel uh, the, uh, the voxel landscape takes yes. yeah, and then you can do it. So yeah. it's, it's nice. And uh, yeah, there there are so many little touches. It's like so it's much, literally impossible yeah, to it's go impossible through. Impossible to list everything. Yeah, it's it's there's so uh, many. You, you want to see? We can find a deer nearby. Maybe they okay. have spawned by now because we've, we've been around like. It's it's pretty hard to find them because they are Whoa. Quite, quite sneaky buggers. And if you move too much, world chunking will eat them and they will unload. Okay, I'll just go check my peripherals here. Oh, hold on, what's that on there? <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, what is it? What is it? hunting wabbits. Let's. So um, I will answer your question there, Shady Hatter, because that's something we discussed uh, in great length. We consciously chose not to do that on the grounds that um, we really want to emphasize the, the take step that uh, the craft finishes and you take the result of your craft. It slows down the crafting a little bit, uh, but at the same time, we kind of want to stimulate you for the timbers and the uh, planks anyway to build the mechanical blocks to, to craft them in bulk uh, rather than endlessly crafting them yourself. Um, on top of that, by making it explicit take action, we are now able to uh, change recipes in such a way that they can return more than one item. Uh, for example, when you're crafting something that requires linseed oil, what we want to do is for it to return your empty jar. It's not done yet, but like it's something that we can now finally uh, do because the system supports it. On small day, stones yeah. well you don't craft small stones well i suppose you have to crack the large stones into the small stones well, there are a lot well, of what, the, the, what we had what we originally what we kind of uh, wanted to do was make a mechanical like stone <laughs> crusher but they're simply we've been so busy redoing all the models all the blocks all the art that we never managed to finish that uh, finish that have that ready for the release so you have to craft all the stones uh, uh, currently by hand it's uh i'm sorry uh i'm not seeing any deer yeah no i've heard like they're kind of like they, they do spawn they're shy they're shy creatures they're shy, they're shy creatures unless there's any world setting that would have them to say but i, I, I doubt no, you cannot you cannot disable them okay all right fine strange because then suddenly you have come across like five of them and it's like oh my <laughs> No, that shouldn't happen anymore because oh, okay. there, there were actually some uh, some some issues with the spawning, and we saw that a lot like in the earlier iterations because the barbarians are a lot smarter now. They are able to find you. Uh, they were actually swarming you, and it was impossible to get started because they were just killing you all the time, and it was really rough. And uh, now the AI spawns once every fifty minutes, like five in a row, mm -hmm. and as yeah, you run away, like. They will not be there. Okay. So I thought they might appear in front of me. They probably despawned by now. Uh, okay. I would say every 15 minutes, that's the whole point, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what makes it a little hard to show them all specifically mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. the game is not set up to spawn a lot of them. You'll find them as you as you play, I'm sure. You will see them walking by. And, uh, They're easy to see at night now with the torches. So it's a really. And there's a couple of different, say, different combos. You have like some will just be having like a wooden mace, some will have a shield and a sword, some will have a broken sword, and they'll have different colours depending on the biome. So I think it's is it, is it white in the Arctic and green, and then red in the desert or something? Is it's a little loose like that. Yeah. 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 So there's some yeah some different it's appearances like there and, and, and equipped the, the barbarians. What we consider the more dangerous zones, like the Arctic and the desert, that's where the stronger barbarians spawn like the ones with the swords whereas the ones you will find in the forest are generally equipped like like uh, maces or the clubs and uh, they are more easy to, to fight they don't have shields there's now barbarians that have shields so you'll have your hands full with the barbarians every now and then some might have a fiery sword. <laughs> yeah, if you play on his server, then they might have fiery That's actually, sword. It's, uh, really, is that a mod or is that just like it's some... A mod. Okay, yeah, it's yeah. A mod. It's but again, something that makes it really interesting for modders because you could have 
with modded weapons and yeah. even modded. I, I don't know if modded. If oh, if if they're if shared in disguise. I don't know if modded armor would work as well. Uh, if they mod it, then yeah, they, yeah, exactly. You can, so you can make more equipment. The modding potential of medieval. Every update has just got up and up and up and up, and it's it's still the it's it's crazy. If you put in the time and effort, what you're able to do in this well, game. Part of the like the pillars of of Keen Software House yeah. is that we make games that there's a deer. Ah. Uh, that we make the, that actually he was running so there's, there's, a barbar there's a barbarian <gasps> the deers run away from the deer run away from barbarians so if the barbarian sneaks up on the deer the deer there's two barbarians see, see, see they're, they're kind of pestering the poor deer so, it's a lucky day there's two deers two barbarians yeah. okay like uh, you probably have admin mode if I turn to yeah you have quick. admin mode if you have admin mode the there barbarians will ignore you so you can see that barbarian is equipped a torch Ah, yeah. So, the pillars of Keen Software House are, here's a deer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it, one of the pillars is that we make games that are like kind of like platforms that are easy to mold. Because we believe in the creativity of people, and creativity is not just by placing blocks, but also in, in creating like, like stuff like the, the rails mod, the water mod, the, the fiery barbarians, the, the, the casement, the glass windows, the the like all 150 mods by Wolfgar that like are, are there are lots of cool mods there um yeah he's ignoring you now so I'm, in, I'm in creative mode really? so he's, he's not gonna he attack doesn't, me he doesn't care yeah and he's like pretty he's angry. pretty angry as well pretty angry looking they, they, they pull faces don't they and now he's dead good job you killed them or defenseless innocent barbarian that has done nothing bad so turn off admin mode when you find the barbarian mm -hmm. and then he will attack but i mean creative no, mode anyway he doesn't care about creative he cares about admin mode. okay right so now hello as you get closer you see he puts the torch away and he goes straight for your face so if you just let him be for a moment and just let him uh, like hit you you will see that he now also has the ability to do charged attacks see boom so they're a little bit more uh, dangerous than they were before. Other than that, they are still barbarians. They are not as smart as players, of course. But they will probably give this guy a run for his money. Yeah. All right, let's find that deer. The deer is somewhere nearby. Hopefully, let's have a look. I think it went that way, didn't it? Oh no, we'll never find it again. <laughs> it's towards the forest, I think. Oh uh, no. Yeah, that's true. It went towards the forest from the, to the left side, but isn't it more to the right? For a new player, they'll be quite the threat. Yes, that's why they don't they, they don't actually spawn for new players. They actually uh, they have a metric. You need to have some researches unlocked before they even become uh, come near you. They will ignore you if you're just some some new guy on the server. Because of course, like actually learning how to use. Um, the combat in the game is it, it's something yes. you've got to practice a little bit. Where Aha, that's the You found it? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Uh, let's spectate the camera a bit. There we go. There you go. You see? There? You see it eating? And you see it eating the plant? Oh, yeah! Yeah, it's left this. So you can almost like. It's almost like some either someone's been here. Or, or a, deer, or a deer's been here. So let's you just can tell it. if the deer have been nearby because there is literally not a berry bush left standing. <laughs> let's see if it. Let's see if it eats any more. Let's follow it around here. Here's some game, some grass. Eating some grass. Yeah. And actually, while it's eating, it's a little distracted, and it's a perfect time for you to sneak up on it if you want to to hunt it with melee weapons. Wait, hold on. There's a bush coming up. Yes, we're going for the berries. It's going for the berries. It's going for the berries. Oh. Gone. <laughs> you can bait them with dropping food. Yeah. Wow. They okay. Will, they will also eat like. Uh, I mean, they you will scare them, but if you're crouched, actually, oh. you can get oh. real close. It down. was. It was walked past me. Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't notice you because you're crouching. You're you're sneaking. Sneaky. It's like when you have a player that's crouching nearby. The name is not on their head. And uh, it's the same with uh, the deer. Dun, dun, bum, ba, da, ba, da, da, if you don't make da, any da, da, noise, da, 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 da. then you can get real close. 
Oh, it's back its tail. Oh, you can kill it. one slice, damn. Yeah, that's what the sword does to deer. <laughs> so now it's a little, now they are a little bit more, uh, It'd be cool of if course I... he was too slow to kill it before it ate the berries. Like if you're pretty quick, you can actually keep one berry bush alive. Oh, you know, it got it, it got, it it got keep, the berries. It will keep coming <laughs> back, but now it had its uh, last meal. It had know? its last like meal, it its yeah. Last meal. It, 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 it's last meal, wide its tail and then slice. Yeah. That was cruel and unusual. <laughs> <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be funny if there was if there was like uh, berries? berries or yeah, fermented no. berries or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> that's a little that's a little too much. I didn't want to go that far. Like that's that's creepy. That's creepy. So yeah, um, that's that's it for the AI. Uh, what else do we have? Mm, I think that's really all the most important stuff. So of course, as we now start, uh, we the next uh, let's say a few weeks will be dedicated to polishing this build. So of course, we will be keeping an eye out for bug reports, crash <laughs> reports, uh, and just genuine feedback on how the features are functioning. And we will do our best uh, to accommodate what we believe is uh, <laughs> like. So I was laughing at the chat about. <laughs> Deer fermented berry wine. <laughs> Deer fermented berry wine. <laughs> <laughs> Only in medieval engineers. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure if there's any any I guess any questions that you about the update that you want to ask guys. Anything that we might have not covered, please do ask. And uh, maybe one of the mods can link the blog post again if you want to go over that and, and look in. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just yeah, I can, we're in the chat still um, about the update. Yeah, I can link it as well. That I can beat the mods to it. There we go. Okay. See. Yeah, there's there's multi there's multiplayer improvements. Uh, I say on that blog post if I read you a bit. You can off. actually join the dedicated server. Oh, okay. But then you are in no longer in creative. It's you're just it's gonna have to be some survival. Mode. I'll just quickly read this. We've upgraded the multiplayer behavior, especially with regards to the grids, to ensure they are sent over the network quicker and fully connected to prevent grid desynchronization, ropes getting cut, and horrible scenarios that could cause clients to freak out. Uh, serialization is now much faster. Multiplayer, there's also better entity grouping to ensure grids loading together, which combined with lots of minor fixes should significantly improve bandwidth. So that's the uh, the paragraph in multiplayer. So you should be seeing improvements and combined so with the performance ones, it should one, be. One example that uh, we had in the past is that, for example, you have, let's say, blue, uh, blue, uh, blueprints, a grid that's a trebuchet. Trebuchet has like lots of moving parts. So there's the base that's maybe not moving, might be in the ground, but might be dynamic. Then you have the, the arm, you have the bucket, the, the weight, I mean. Um, you have ropes connecting it to the, the oh, wow. rope drum. You have rope connecting it to the projectile. And when you would get near the, the trebuchet, it would first load in whatever's closest to you, which would probably be the, the frame. And if you're really unlucky, it could be, for example, the projectile. It would load in, it would start falling. Then the next part of the trebuchet loads in, which might be the, the arm part and the rope that connects it to the projectile. So now that starts falling together. It was uh, lots of clunk results in. As all oh. these parts load in individually, uh, you actually have the problem that like they just kind of fall apart. So instead of uh, doing everything individually, we just take the whole grid, all of its attached parts, all the rope connections, and stream the whole thing in a single batch. So it loads in as a single batch, all the connections are there, all the physics are in sync with the, with the server, with the client, and should not clang out as much. We also fixed an issue where the, the, the weights of objects were out of sync. So like you would have a chest, you would fill it with some stones, start falling down. Uh, these stones would be heavier on the server than on the client, so it would fall down faster on the server than on the client, so they, da, 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 da. it would desynchronize. Uh, lockable catch blocks should be locking as they always were intended to, so we cannot show it anymore because they're no longer in creative, but uh, they should be uh, functional. 
some people running around here. The, the, the surf, this looks like a well, fresh kind of, server's been set up. Yeah, it's kind of confusing how everybody's spawning here at the same spot. They should be more distributed around the planet. But I'm not sure. Well, there is, well there's, there is more than that. There's like 25. Oh, that's true. There's 25 people that's on true. there, so it's just... Maybe it's just a coincidence that yeah. there's a small base around the spawning location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Ah, hmm. Mm. Mm. Well, you can uh, claim that guy's bed and you will be sad. Bed of Fred. The Fred bed. Fred. So yeah, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting to see. I, I'm still looking forward Oops, to seeing all the, the that's okay, <laughs> all the new uh, pe people's builds, right? With all the new blocks and everything, yep. and uh, finding out how people get on. Is there anything you did you? I forgot if you mentioned it about some fixes. Uh, so many fixes. You'll have to be more. No, uh, no, no, no. Fixes. Sorry, off this up. Like, like you. you oh might, yeah, like I said, like yeah. uh, For the next two weeks, we are focusing on like or three weeks I'm actually you know like for the upcoming weeks we are focusing on polishing what we have uh, so send us the bug reports send us the the crash logs send us anything that is suspicious broken weird strange or whatever and um, we will do our best to address what we believe is like the highest priority first of course because if someone says like ah oh, this button on the GOI it's it's green and it should be blue or it's gonna be gameplay break. It's like, okay, game, game, gameplay that's great that your right. button is like slightly offset two pixels to the right, but you know, like when this guy hits the tree, the game crashes for him. It's more yeah. important. Or I mean, when the sound is not working, because there's like we have an issue that is a real issue where people are just hearing garbage noise instead of actual sounds, and it's really like ruining the game for them. I would like to thank everyone for who took part in the test and, and reported uh, the bugs there, because honestly. Um, just in the last week, many, many things, crashes and bugs were fixed because of that public test, which, me which just meant that this release, uh, of course, has gone a lot uh, smoother, uh, right? Um, that we were able to find those things. But of course, there's still, with still the sandbox lots nature, of stuff. there's still lots of things. There's still so lots of stuff that has to be up. done. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, we, we, we're going to work on it as, as much as we can and fix it as uh, well as we are able to. Oh. Well, there's uh, some weird desync. I was, I was wondering if they were like charging up a big swing. <laughs> well, that might be. Hello. Oh, oh waving with the axe. Yeah, yeah, it's Fred. Fred. Hello, Fred. You can wave back into Fred. There's some, some, some weird weirdness there. Barkeep says, you can't rotate things off the grid anymore? Yes, you can. Hold down shift. Hold or down press shift. O. O toggles it. <laughs> they're already correcting him like yeah. shift. so the chat got him covered uh, the building here in the uh, in the jungle area I, I love this biome so much yeah and I think of course like again m many mods many of your favorite mods won't be updated yet uh, but uh, I well, think in actually, the following let's see let's check discord because I know that some of the guys were already working on it Let's see. Uh, just uh, how long do you think it will take from av like for a mod like to change each one? Is it is it a lot of work, mm. or is it is it? I'm mean, imagining it's varying depending on the complexity and how much of the, the new stuff which has changed affects that mod, or is it is it is it a simple thing? Uh, again, sorry, I was just looking. At That's it. fine. Just re regarding. Uh, the, the times to fix these mods is it well, roughly it, it, it like it depends on the on the mod okay, okay like certain mods like that did not touch blocks they are like done okay uh blocks so the moon mod are, right the moon mod was very quick as you can see and uh, like, so, like we were actually working with some of the modders that like, in the past that um, uh, to get the mods already pre-prepared so they actually uh, a lot of them have already prepared their mods and they just need to publish it yeah so i believe water mod should be uh ready by the end of uh, the stream or <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, sir moods yeah, yeah. has already pre uh, peaceman has already prepared it he was one of the mothers we invited to come and uh, prepare uh, his mod for zero seven a little, little before we released it mm -hmm. so <laughs> do not worry and uh, Equinox knows about the real mod. He will probably have it uh, working soon. He's uh, he's busy right now with real life uh, yeah. things, but uh, yeah. he will do his best. Uh, Wolfgar we'll has uh, like converted the vast majority of his mods, 
So it's just a matter of him uh, publishing everything. And uh, what else is there? What else is there? Want some some memes, some jokes. Some it's a myth. It's definitely without a torch. It's definitely hard at night now. I'm, I'm just trying to find. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to craft an axe so I can. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I need more stones. Oh, it, it is just. Uh, it is just. Uh, the torch is pretty easy to make. I forget. We I forget made. We made sure that like at least uh, you can see you can, because yeah. in the early in the public test the night was really really pitch black, and as you can see here on the stream actually you do, oh you didn't join uh, X Wing server did you? No, no, I didn't. Because you would have. Had I just joined the one with the most players. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, I didn't, I didn't take it. Mm. Ah, there we go. I wonder why everyone's bright pink today. Is it seems as a there's a lot there's a high high. Well, there there's some, Actually, there's uh, just uh, some, ah. something odd about the the spawning as well. Like it's shouldn't be so bright pink. Anymore. Everyone's bright pink. Everyone's bright pink. So it's like it's a bit. We had that in the past where um, the randomization was lost. The randomization, like ev between every update, the randomization gets lost. And I was still, I I'm like, I, I would still love to see it where like it's random. It's like random, but only the only the. The, the hue yes. is random, like the, the saturation no, is not the, as bright. The, the random mechanic uses RGB and it should have been uh, HSV and because of that there's bogus data in the color. So okay. most of yeah. the time it generates pink because that's what the, the color just uh, flips to. Mm -hmm. So updated mode SDK, we actually were supposed to update it today, but then we had some critical art issues that uh, popped up. So we didn't have the mode SDK ready by today. I'm sorry. <coughs> So, save compatibility from 06 to 07. In principle, all 06 worlds should carry over. Wait, he's not home yet? Oh, he wrote to me, no. like, can I go home? It's like an hour ago. <laughs> so, in principle, all 06 saves should load. Uh, of course, modded ones will require the mods to be present. Otherwise, they will load, but the blocks will be missing. And, and who knows what will happen to your, <laughs> to your uh, buildings. Um, I think you are the author of Klangdorf. Klangdorf should work. You will probably see some roofs disconnect and you will probably see some little things here and there that are not uh, entirely as you thought they were, but you should be able to fix them and it should work. And I think it's why, um, it's why actually like starting fresh is still the, the best option. But you can actually yeah. still reload. Like, make sure that the world is saved in the latest 064 mm -hmm. branch. You will find the 064 branch on Steam. It's still there. It's so still there. Yeah. Make sure you save your world using that branch first. Because I guess if it's like older than that, then we will not compat it. Yeah, yeah. If it's older than 064, we will not uh, compat it. So you that might mean that you have to. Yeah, go back to, to actually, if you have a world that you haven't played on for a while, you, you might have, have to really go back, thing. reopen it in 6.4, and yep. then come to 7. So there might be a bit of, um, yeah, a bit of work to do yes. if, you, if you want some of those old, older worlds. Yep. There's some fantastic building going on here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, anything else? Like, I'm probably going to just, uh, I think we can uh, kind of start wrapping it up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, okay. It's still uh, Valentine's Day, and I have to go say hello yeah. to my girlfriend. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Uh, to <laughs> so this is my there. Valentine's yeah. gift for all, all of you guys. Just a small token. <laughs> we love you. So yeah. Um, yeah. So that's it, pretty much for 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 the stream. I hope you guys will enjoy zero seven, and we will work hard on patching whatever's busted. I'm sure there you will find something. Um, thank you for joining us. Yes. And uh, I think everything else. Yeah. Thank you to all the community modders and uh, I mean everyone who who's just been supporting the game actually and uh, playing it and uh, reporting the bugs. Everything. It's been uh, you guys are the best and um, yeah, it's, it was what makes everything come together and uh, make us enjoy what uh, what we do. So thank you. Um, Absolutely. That's it, I reckon. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. I got nothing else. And uh, I'm.
I'm okay with uh, ending it here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, so, so. <laughs> all right. I've got nothing else. Like we've well, covered all the important things, and we can keep going on about little details. But like, let's just let's just wrap it up here. A lot of uh, new toys, a lot of things for you guys to check out and play with, and uh, give us feedback on. Yes. So. I'm looking forward. To, I will be uh, monitoring the streams, see who's streaming what. Maybe there's some people playing medieval. I'll be watching the, the the bug reports. I'll be watching the crash reports. I'll be uh, I'll be watching. Always watching. Always watching. Flame of the deep, We're looking down upon the players. Okay. No, not, <laughs> not down upon. That's like kind of. Oh. Positive. Down upon. I meant like just just upon this. I think fine. I was thinking like a godly you know, like looking above, but you say down upon. Yeah, so. but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm uh, not. Sure, actually, let's say looking down, pushing it. Yeah, down upon. Let's keep it a little humble. Anyway, so let's keep it a little humble here. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Thank you guys, and see you around. Bye. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night now. Ciao.